What's up, Grow Fam? Doug here from Shore Grow Hydro, New Jersey's highest rated grow shop. Here today to talk about AC Infinity products and how to use them. Like any good tool, it's a matter of how you use them. So today we were gonna start with the CloudCom. We have the B1 here and the B2 here. So the B2, we're currently selling for $19.99, while the B1, we're currently selling for $24.99. So, Doug, why? Why is it so important to monitor my environment and data log and understand the ups and downs of the temperature and humidity within said environment? Well, very specifically and simply speaking, if you were to ever stumble into your grow environment and see your plants praying to the stars or to the sun, super happy, glowing and exuberance, the first thing you want to do is data log the temperature and humidity because what you have hopefully just discovered is the correct temperature and humidity that your specific phenotype desires and loves. It's one of the processes of, it's part of the process of figuring out those genetics. So that's why it's so important. And that's just like the first reason I would grab at, you know, something if you come home and you find your garden is wilted and you're not really sure what happened the first thing you would do is check your app see look at the data collection figure out what happened while you were gone in a retrospect of temperature and humidity so i am going to start with the b1 or really only do the b1 because to me it's the superior product uh, because it has a little bit extra features uh, meaning that's going to do two separate environments as opposed to just one environment. The nice thing about it is that it comes with the batteries. So what we have here are another reason why I love AC Infinity. The zip ties and the cable management stuff. Mwah. Keep on doing it, AC. Keep on doing it. So yes, they typically give you spare parts. Here you've got a net very, I, was, I think it's 25 feet long uh, sensor cable. This is what's gonna communicate the temperature and the humidity to the B1 data logger. And then it's gonna send it to your uh, phone or app via Bluetooth within a certain amount of range, not the World Wide Web's. Pretty nice. And I'm also going to assume there's another temperature and humidity monitor inside here. I don't know. Let's check. That's what manuals are for. Bada bing. Whoa, look how cute. You're adorable. It's like for um, guinea pig size. I love it. I can see a guinea pig curling up by the fire with this. Yeah, it's really All right, come on, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, B1, smart hygrometer probe, smart hygrometer. Yes, so there is a temperature and humidity, or a uh, sensor inside of this, and then you have the secondary one, which you would plug into here. How do you plug it in? Oh, right, right here. So, put your batteries in there, plug your sensor in here, run the other end of your, where'd it go? Run the other end of your sensor into your grow environment. So this would be going outside of your grow environment, which I typically, for common sense reference, would call the pre-environment, where all the air that's getting sucked into your grow environment is going. So let's say, for example, you've got this sensor on your canopy, and you've got this one in your room. You can know that if this one says 70 degrees, and then the one in your canopy says 80 degrees, you know that the room, um, your pre-environment is cooler than your environment, which is very good because it means that your tent will not be heating up throughout the course of the day. So there's plenty of other reasons 
to data log and keep all this information between grows uh, retaining to specific phenos and, and characteristics, expressions to bring out. When you're calibrating or dialing in anything, you pretty much need to know your temperature and humidity if you're gonna make any somewhat accurate um, assumptions, especially in nutrient absorption, things like vapor pressure deficit and so on and so forth. So that is the B1. The B2 is just pretty much this. It does not come with the secondary sensor. 20 bucks, $25. So two sensors, one sensor, two environments, one environment, $5 difference. You can do the math. Thank you guys so much for joining us in this AC Infinity product discussion. Again, tip of the hat to AC Infinity for extra parts and cord management, for having good um, apps that communicate with all their sensors fluidly, and for really doing their due justice on end, nonetheless making it affordable. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Until next time. Stay frosty, my friends. We really like subscribers. <laughs>